What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, we will be talking about if your iPhone has stuck on the Apple logo, boot loop or black screen and any other relevant issues that you are facing on your iOS device and iPad OS. And you don't need to worry about as in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easiest method by which you can easily fix 150 plus iOS issues in your home without having any technical knowledge without wasting any time let's get right into it okay so the application which i would recommend for such issues is tunes kit ios system recovery so by using this application you can not just fix ios issues but you can also upgrade or downgrade your ios from to ios 26 and back to ios 18 without jailbreak you can also recover ios ipad os to normally home with no data loss and you can fix 150 plus ios issues as i mentioned earlier before with just a single click you can also enter and exit recovery mode from your iphone ipad and ipod touch you can also permanently raise your ios data in case if you are selling it and you are worried about your data notice that but if you have some relevant issues you can fix that as well with the tunes kit application so the first thing which you need to do is simply download your desired version from the link which I have mentioned in the description and as well as on the comment section. Once you download with that, simply run the application. Now you can see we have got all the features on the home interface. The first one we have iOS system recovery, the second one we have upgrade and downgrade, the third one we have reset your device permanently and we have got other options which is quite useful as well. So let's just click on iOS system repair and here you can see all these features can be fixed by the following method. So let's just go ahead. Now you will get two options, standard repair and deep repair. I will suggest for the first time, follow the standard repair, which will definitely fix your iPhone. And with the standard repair, you won't lose any of your data. But in case if it didn't work for some reason, then you can jump to the second method, which is deep repair. But keep in mind by this method, it will erase all your data from your iOS device. Now let's click on any of them and now you need to take your iPhone to recovery mode. Just quite easy if you are using iPhone 8 or later model, just simply press volume up button then down button and then keep pressing the power button. Just make sure all these three buttons should be pressed meanwhile. Your phone will get into recovery mode and then you can release the power button after that. And now you are required to download the firmware package for your iPhone. As you can see here, we can go to the iOS 26 beta version, but I will select iOS 18.5. After that, click on download and now it will take plenty of time because it's going to download 7.93 GB file, which is almost 8 GB. So please be patient and wait for it. As we are almost there, we just need to download this file and then it's almost done. Okay, so once you are done with the download, you will see start deep repair option on the screen. Just click on that. Make sure your iPhone is connected and it's still in and recovery mode. The tunes kit iOS system recovery will start re repairing our device. It will take around five to 10 minutes. So, so give it some time. Make sure your iPhone is connected and it has still enough charge. And that's it. As you can see, the repair has been completed. Just simply click on done. And now let's set up the iPhone. Hopefully it will be fixed by now. And okay, as you can see that iPhone 11 is back to normal condition. Everything is just normal like before. And obviously we have used deep repair option, which, was, which has erased all the data. But now our iPhone has also been updated to the iOS 18.6 before as it was on iOS 18.5. But anyway, you can also fix any of the iOS device by the following method if you are facing any issues. As I mentioned earlier, it could fix 150 plus problem. Not just that, but you can also update your iPhone to the beta version by using TuneSkit iOS system recovery application. Let me know if you guys have got any questions regarding this application. You can download it from the given link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.